plenty of positives from last night. How big of a confidence boost is it to um, finally score a couple of goals and get that first victory on the board? No, we um, the, the players should take great confidence from that. Not overconfidence, but for sure it's a step in the right direction for them. It's stuff that we've been working on. It was good to see them come come through that difficult test because Fleetwood was a, was a good team and it was difficult circumstances for both teams on that pitch last night with the weather and, and the way that wind was swirling. So. I thought we really stuck to our principles that we're trying to that we're trying to implement here, and, and the players. I think you saw the belief they they carried on throughout the whole period of of the ninety minutes and got the deserved equaliser. Um, and then for extra time, I thought from the second half onwards, all the way through extra time, we were the better team. It was unfortunate we conceded at the end. I think it was pretty much their two shots they had on target. They they scored with, um, but it was a good game, you know, and. What was good as well, our focus in the penalties. I thought we, we took them very well and I thought we got the deserved win. That was the most important bit. But the good fit for me was the courage the players showed, the attitude they showed in difficult circumstances. Um, and that's what's needed, that's what needs to be developed. I can see that's uh, been a, I wouldn't say a weakness, but that's been something that's probably happened over recent seasons. Um, we have to get, make sure we stay strong with our mentality, strong with what we believe in. And I think you saw signs of that improvement last night in the team. Yeah, one player who, who didn't get much of an opportunity last season but certainly took his chance last night was, was Calvin Phillips. You must have been pleased with his performance. I was pleased with all of them. You know, I think the whole team, they all contributed. They all got the reaction that I was looking for. and um, We did make it tough for ourselves. Um, I was told afterwards that the club can sometimes make a habit of, of doing that for themselves. But um, that's something that we have to get out of. Um, those individual mistakes, but young players will do that. You know, young players will make mistakes. We have to trust them, you know, and believe in them. And I do certainly in that. And I think you saw that in the second half when they feel trusted and they have belief, and in themselves, they can produce good football. And we did that. And um, all of them, all of them last night. There was I couldn't single out a single person um, for special praise because I thought they all really um, put on a good performance. How's Liam Cooper? Obviously, he left the pitch at half time. Well, that was always the design to give him 45 minutes. He's only, only been back training a week. So bearing in mind where his fitness is at, um, that he's missed um, pretty much all of pre-season. Um, so you have to, uh, albeit he would love to carry on and love to play more minutes, you have to use your experience in, in what you do, speak with the, the, the medical team that we have here and the, and the physical team and make sure we have a plan for him, you know, to not kill him and, and re-injure him. So um, no, 45 minutes was always the plan. So he's OK for the weekend? Yeah. yeah. Everyone came through last night very well. I'm sure there'll be some tired legs this morning. The most important bit now is the recovery for the players. It's a short turnaround. Birmingham have that extra day. Um, so we have to have a good recovery now and be ready for the weekend, which I'm sure we will be. Yeah, well, what about Pablo? I mean, obviously he came in pretty late and um, his first appearance, 120 minutes. Will he be recovered and ready to start if needed? No, Pablo's a top professional, so it's the same for all of them. There was a lot of minutes out there on the pitch. Um, but this is where we try and get the right recovery. We know what we want to do with the recovery, so we always have that planned, and um, the players will have um, a good focus for the next game. So no, um, I'm sure Pablo's legs are a little bit tired this morning, um, as everyone's eyes were. So um, no, we'll be ready for the weekend for sure. Birmingham coming up. What sort of a challenge is that going to pose to you? A difficult one. You know they did very well last season. I went and watched them against Cardiff um, last weekend, and I thought it was a very good game. Um, so no, they. Um, they very much know what they are, so they're very good at what they do. Um, very solid team. Um, look to counter and, and take their chances when they come past. Um, so um, it's going to be a difficult game. They make it very difficult for us, and they have, you know, good experience um, of playing that way. So um, it's for us to to really try and put our you know, performance and our way of, of playing onto the pitch, and, and and really try and impose ourselves upon them. And, and if we can do that with the crowd behind us. Um, hopefully we can get our league, league off to a good start. Yeah, how much are you looking forward to that first competitive game in charge at Ellen Road? I mean, we got the season ticket figures uh, yesterday and it's the most the club have sold for quite a while. OK, what was the total? 14,300. OK, well, that's really good. No, it's important that we give the crowd performances and ones that they can enjoy watching and, and ones that they're going to be in, feel involved with. And, and like I said, I've, that famous passionate support, that lower support is... It's going to be crucial to us this season, home and away. You saw it last night, um, but especially at Ellen Road. I said we need it to be a fortress for us. We need it to be 
somewhere where teams fear coming, not where we fear coming, you know. And I think we have to back our young players, this young team, and um, and we have to give them a full support and make it very difficult for the opposition. Okay, that's important. Not not where we make it difficult for our own players. So um, I'm sure that that's the way it'll be, and I'm sure that with the performance performances from the players, if we show improvement from what we did last night as well, I'm sure that the fans will be happy with that. Important to get the first points on the board as quickly as possible as well. Yeah, we want to. You know, we were disappointed last week. I'm not going to keep saying it, but we were obviously disappointed. There's no getting away from that. We want to get the first three points on board um, as soon as possible. That we have an opportunity against Birmingham. That's something that we'll be focused on, and, and, and we'll be confident we're trying to do it. Mark, Marcus Anderson came on, and, and once again you went two up top, um, like you did for the second half against QPR. Looked to work well as a shape for you. Does that give you something to think about? Maybe a bit more emphasis on going forward as you're at home this weekend. No, we work in different ways. There's lots of things that we do in, in the trainings to go onto a pitch to give us some extra weapons, things that we might need to change in games. Um, so, you know, all those things will will help us as a team. So, um, no, I select a team. Um, as always, we approach against the team that we're playing against, what's going to suit us. Um, but obviously, with the main focus on what we're doing already. Um, so, no, we'll see. That, that will be a, a weapon for us throughout the season. But. Um, each game as, as it comes, we'll, we'll see how we set up and we'll, we'll look to put our way of playing onto the pitch. A couple of goals conceded from corners as well. Will you be working on defending set pieces over the next couple of days? Yeah, like I said after the game, it's not the, the actual setup. The setup is very organised. I think what it is, is, is comes down to the individual marking. I think that's a skill that we're going to have to get the players to, to learn very quickly um, in terms of actually marking them out. It's a skill to do that. So I already worked. Um, a lot of times in the past, I've already worked the season with the players on that. It's obviously something, an area where we're continuously, as every team will, to improve on. Um, whenever you can see from a, a set piece, you're, you're disappointed and everyone will say you need to work on these. Every time you score from one, the opposition will have to deal with that. So um, it's, um, it's part of the game. Of course, we need to improve in all areas. It's not just that. But um, again, we're in very early days and there's a lot of work to do. But I'm sure that's one of the works that we'll be putting in place. And Luke Kalen, it seems like that deal is about done. Uh, any others expected in before the weekend? Well, no, I think it's it's clear that we need to strengthen. The club's working hard behind the scenes to try and, and help with that with that situation. So um, hopefully, as as soon as possible, we can we can help strengthen the squad and and, and go into the season um, fully ready and fully prepared.